Oh, there you go. Oh, nice perch. There you go. <laughs> hey, I'm Ted Takasaki, and we're out here on Lake Ponson on a blustery, windy day. I'm here with my buddies Mike Deegan and Perry Parks. Well, we're working this little rock pile ledge here, and uh, we just anchored up, and uh, we're going to work along all that edges of rocks into a little bit deeper water. Hopefully we can catch a few more of them perch and some crappies and striped bass and walleyes. Is that a netter? Oh, hey, that might, that might make the grade. I think it will, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Nice. A little over 15 and a half. It'll be a tasty eater, Mike. There you go. Well done. Come here, buddy. Here, oh, yeah. Nice fish. Man, there's a year class of this size, isn't there, Mike? These fish are actually about six and a half years old. Really? Yep. But yeah, these are these are pretty old fish. They're lean and mean. Another walleye. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, I told you, Mike, if you would hook that minnow through the back, your hook success would just be way better. All right, just watch. You know. Now that's you get a better minnow out of there. That's like, you know, a little dinker. Yeah. Walleye. All right, of course Ted catches walleye. Need a net, bud? No. Nope. Nope. All right. Hey, that's a keeper, too. There you go. I don't know what it is. You know what? It's a walleye. See? First of the day. All right. You know, perfectly that fish was hooked, Perry. Yeah. You know, one thing I encourage people to do is hook the minnow through the back. You get better action with the minnow. And uh, it's just something, just a little tip from the pro today. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Ooh, oh, look at that, that baby. Oh, jeez, wow. he come right off. Nice crop. Tell you what, these crappies, they've got these paper thin mouths, so you gotta, as soon as, as, soon as you get that tong tong, and then you just set, you don't, don't really set the hook real hard. I've got this nice St. Croix rod, seven foot, real soft action rod, and I just pull back on it, and that basically sets the hook. And you wanna set your drag real light, use some of that light line, and you can get results like that. Since you've got that 16 ounce jig, you want to just barely, slowly, just kind of sink down towards the bottom and then give that rod tip a little bit of a twitch and then a twitch again. And then usually they'll hit it right on that pause. And then when you get that bite and that rod starts to load up and you just pull back and that's when you get them, you can set that hook on those paper thin mouths of theirs. A lot of fun. Might be a little walleye. No nope, crappie. Whoa. Nice one. <laughs> Yeah. Nice crappie. Yeah, baby. Well, I tell you what, today was one of those days where we caught a ton of fish and a lot of these and a lot of crappies. And uh, unfortunately, we're out of minnows too. So I suppose it's time to go in and uh, clean a few of these up, except for that one. <laughs> Well, here we are, Teddy. We just got off the water. We had a great day fishing. And you're awesome at catching them, but I'm tired of you watching me clean them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get you up here and you're gonna help me today. Well, Perry, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm ready to go at it. Now, Perry, the difference, as I understand it, is that the bluegill and the crappies, the rib cages are a little bit shorter. So you wanna go at the rib cage this way and then the perch and the walleye fillet is a little longer. The rib cage is a little bit longer. So you want to go at them this direction. That's correct, Ed. You so got the it. angles and the timing is all critical. Perfect. All right. I did that one. Now, that was straight at it. Now, this one, I want to go at an angle here and aim right at that very first bone. Now, for the skin, you want to lay the skins at flat with the skin side up, and you always want to go at the head side first. So I start it, clamp it, start it, stop right before the very end, and pull the, pull the meat up. Look at that, Ted. 
God. Wow, that's amazing, isn't awesome. it? Awesome, I'm ready. I mean, look at that crappie filet. Look at that. that All is. your belly meat. Perfect filet. Look at the skin. No, no meat left on that at all. Now, we always say we're cleaning with the skins. It, the cleaning time is always going to be cut by 50%. Let's see how we do. Look at that, Ted. We cleaned 15 fish in 4 minutes and 40 seconds, even with your two little hiccups. Well, I tell you what, folks, the skins, it is truly an amazing tool. We had a great time cleaning fish. I've been sitting there watching you guys clean them all this time, and hey, I can actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing, Ted. You're really good with it. Better than I thought. No doubt about that. Well, anyway, if you want more information on a skin tip, check out fishskinner.com. This is Ted Takasaki and Perry Parks with Mike Tejan with Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.